Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another 3D printing video. So let's get cracking. Friends, it occurred to me that I do not have a specific Kira video for setting up the A10T. Now, I have got my A10T right here as A10T HL. You can see that when it launches, I have got eight virtual extruders there. There are three for the mixing part and then these are virtual extruders i want to show you how to make this so friends real quickly let me go down here to manage printers and if we do machine settings here are the numbers i want you to know i have 230 230 and 250 for my measurements rectangular of course heated bed these print head settings come with the generic one negative 20 negative 10 10 these are just what I use gantry height of 250 and then I have eight extruders and then I have this checked as well to apply them now the part that really really matters is this code right here these are the virtual extruders where the first one T0 is gonna equal blue the second one T1 notice it has a hundred percent on the second it's going to be yellow this is just a comment that I've added so that these make sense and the last one is red I load it with blue yellow and red so I can make other colors so for the next extruder which I call virtual extruder 4 I'm doing 0.2 of the blue 0.8 of the red and it gives me a purple so these are settings that you can adjust as you make your own virtual colors to set up your A10T now real quickly I have hidden that one and I want to show you this if you click add new non ultimaker go down to non networked and find GE tech there is a A10T and you can add it now I already have and it's right here and I'm gonna click on it and do activate and I want to choose machine settings so I can show you the problem so let's start right here it's using 220 it's using 220 for X and Z now 220 could be X and Y I've seen this debated for a long time whether you should do 230 or 220 I've been working with 230 forever and then also I use 250 for my Z notice it does not have the heated bed these numbers are all different I don't know if this is better or not than mine I just know mine has been working and it sticks to the three extruders which is fine because that's what the machine really has but then when it goes through its code it's mixing them at 0.3 which means you probably should get some sort of brown from having all those extruders at the same time real quickly I did take a screenshot of mine so I could show you 230 230 250 of course that one's missing the heated bed and then here you can see all my codes now once again these codes are in a Google Doc in the properties you can just copy and paste them into the correct spots let me quickly walk you through the steps to build your own from scratch so first I'm gonna click on that one and I'm going to remove it because I don't need it now I'm gonna choose add new non ultimaker non networked and I'm gonna just choose custom FFF I'm gonna call it a 10 T V3 and hit add now let's fill in those basic numbers 230 230 I use 250 we do need that heated bed I'm gonna leave those all the same and then I'm gonna put the eight extruders because I'm making those virtual ones I'm gonna click on these extruders and we need to change them all to 1.75 note this does take a second for the screens to refresh but I'm gonna speed it up with video editing skills and then finally going back to printer let's make sure all of those stuck and I'm gonna fix this code in a minute right now let's hit next and now we can click on machine settings to bring them back from this window you'll notice that it is stretched longer you'll have to do that mine just stayed from a moment ago notice this is that Google Doc I mentioned that is in the description of the video we simply copy from the G28 line down to the last M164 
I'm going to do control C to copy. Let's return to Kira. Delete that and do control V to paste. Now you've got your basic settings in for these colors. Notice these combinations will make different colors based on what you have loaded and the quality of the colors you have loaded as well. And then finally, I'm going to grab the last encodes, right click copy or control C, return to Kira, and this time I'm going to just show you the difference. Still an M104, still an M140, G92. So these really aren't that different, except this does a G28, and I'm doing a G27. So you can fiddle with those and make them different. I'm just showing you what I had for mine. And of course, we should double check to make sure we do have the 1.75 and the 0.4 millimeters stored for all of those. I'm going to close that right now, and I'm going to close that. So friends, let's bring in a part. I've got this item called frog rings. These are cute little frog rings that I print and leave on Mount Pisgah. So when they first came in, they were set for extruder one, which would be blue, but I want green frog rings. And I'm gonna do that with number five. Now to get this all set up, I had to go to manage materials. I'm gonna just do that from right here. When I click down at the bottom, bingo, I can bring up all the materials. Now I'm gonna start with generic PLA blue. If we check on the print settings, you can see it prints at 200. I do not know exactly why it works like this, but I can print number one at 200, and then the rest all need to be at 230 for it to print the way I want. So you can see I've got generic PLA blue. It is set at the 200. And then also if we go down here, I have created a second section called custom PLA for all these other ones. Now if I click on this, you can see I labeled this V4, which is for virtual 4. Here is my print setting of 230, 60, and so on and so forth. And it's going to be the purple that is used right there. You can label these all here. You can pick your colors right there. And that way this shows up the way it works on the printer. Once I had that completed, I clicked over here and I duplicated it and I made the next one moving on down. I made virtual five, virtual six, virtual seven, and virtual eight, and then got those colors to match up for what they actually did on the 3D printer. And then as I tinkered with these numbers, I adjusted them to get them the way I wanted. Now you will notice I don't have these 100% perfect, so this vert six, really does a cool orange so i'm going to fix that right now it's similar to that orange right there and then i also want to change the word out here to orange and as you tinker you can keep making those better and better all right so that's how you make and duplicate those i'm going to close that window for now and let's connect the printer via usb bingo that is now activated the print via usb now we've got our parts set and we've got the printer connected if you want to see my settings i always do 0.3 layers we've got 1.2 for the walls 0.8 for the top and bottom thickness i'm going to make the infill 20 percent and then notice down here it does not have the correct material let's make sure that we're switching to number five we do want to be printing with that one right there. So bingo, now it shows the 230. And then also when we go down, I'm using a speed of 60, retraction is on. I want skirt, but I want extruder five to be that skirt. I also want you to know that I use six lines and a skirt distance of 10. And I found that purges the prior color pretty darn well. Friends, of course, when it's done slicing, we can send it to the 3D printer.
Alrighty friends, so here are our cool little rings. You can see those settings are really heavy on the blue. And that's why I also printed it with number seven. And that one I have more heavy on the yellow and that green is a lot better. This is one of those things that you're gonna adjust though, depending on what green you want and the color of your original filament. So friends, there we are, our adorable frog rings using the different settings. Also, I did want to highlight, I tested the colors as I was building them with this sweet little centimeter cube. You can find that on my website. And let me show you this tutorial for how I made these sweet frog rings. Notice there is the cool hole where we add filament to make those eyes really pop. Friends, this is that adorable Tinkercad frog ring. It was created by a student. The initial design, we had one exact size, and then later I made these adjustable ones so that way they could fit more users. Of course, if you're interested in this project, there will be a link to the tutorial up here in the corner. Friends, as I wrap up, I hope you enjoyed the project. I do want to let you know that I'm using Cura 5.4. Of course, friends, don't forget you can check the corner for all the other videos that I mentioned in this. And if you come up with combinations that you like for your virtual extruders, I'd love to hear about them in the comments. Friends, of course, if you found the video useful, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.